So guys, now let's understand about few very important string methods. So first let's understand this capitalize method. So what this method does, so if we have a sentence, so then what it will do, it will change the first letter into a uppercase letter and rest other all the characters into a lower case. So you can check that. And what this title method does, it changes the every word into a title case. So title case means so every word will have the first letter into a uppercase and rest all the letters into the lower case. So the swap case method, again, very simple to understand, it will just change uppercase letters into the lowercase letters and lowercase letters into the uppercase letters. And this upper will change all the letters into the uppercase. And then this lower will change all the letters into the lowercase. And then this case fold does the same thing what this lower does. And then we have these methods like start with end with is alpha, is alpha numeric. So these methods returns a Boolean value. So we can utilize them in a if statement as per the requirement. So let's say we have a this syntax. So what this starts with will check that is this the beginning pattern is matching what I will provide this in the starts with method argument. So STI is not matching with the first two uh, characters. So that's the reason we it has returned false. So let's make it instead of TITH first. So now it has returned true. So we can make the patterns over here. So this is matching with this pattern. So true again after this if we'll make a space as there is space after that it will return true and if you will write down instead of this is after a space let's say capital I false because over here we have a, a small case letter I not a uppercase letter I and so does the same thing so over here our last uh, pattern is cat not C I T so that's it should make C A T so it starts with check with the beginning pattern and so check with the ending patterns alpha numeric check do we have in this string all the characters alphabets and numeric word numeric means 0 to 9 so because we have a dollar over here that's the reason it has returned false so let's remove the dollar now we have alphabets and numeric character so now it will return true so is alpha check do we have all the characters in our string alphabets so if yes, that it will return true, else it will return false. So let's make it everything a alpha. So we have removed all the numeric characters. So now it has returned true. So I hope it's pretty easy to understand. Now, what is this count method does? It checks the number of uh, if, uh, if we have a pattern in the count argument. So how many times are we matching with that pattern in this string? So I i we have four times i so over here over here over here in this and this let's make it is again four times because we have it is over here is pattern is pattern over here is pattern over here is pattern over here now let's say i want to check this proper is not with the this a this this is so what i can do i can add a space in the beginning line. So now because it now it is matching this this one and this one these two so i hope this gives a clarity what this count does and count is applicable to all the sequences so even if you apply it let's say on a tuple so let's make it and as one is two times over here and if you will count that how many times do we have a one over here it will return two because one is over here the two times and if you we will say Two as two is saying one, so this count is applicable to all the built-in sequences. Whether it, it is a string, whether it is a tuple, whether it is a list. 
and what this strip method does so let me do one thing let me first remove this so just provide without any argument this method so do you see what it has done it removes the leading and trailing spaces but if you will provide a specific argument in that so let's say i want to remove this uh, trailing percentage also so if you'll provide this leading percentage so sorry i need to provide in with the single quotes or double quotes so, so now let's run it now what has happened no it has not removed it because what's happened because we did not in the beginning the leading sorry the trailing first we have a space so and i want to remove first a space and and this also percentage sign so let's provide a space now we have it has removed it, right now i want to remove dollar also so let's provide dollar also in this and make sure there is a space now we have removed this but now, now let, let's say i have a dollar also over here or even dollar will be fine here but i don't want to remove the first dollar i want to remove only the trailing dollar so what i can do i can provide the the r strip also we have so now our trailing dollar and this one has removed but leading one remains there so that's what this r strip does same way l strip does for the beginning thing so i hope these methods has giving has given you a pretty good clarity on that but now let's say we have this method so here after every dot i want to change into a title case the every uh, the first letter of the so or the first word of every sentence after the dot right dot is full stop so how can we do that so that's where um, the utility of these new functions comes in the picture so split join and replace so that thing we will do in a next part because and these three are very important and methods of a string so thanks guys please subscribe the channel and keep watching and there will be new videos every week thanks a lot bye bye